We all thought it couldn't happen here. That you only see tragedies like this on the news. Until we made the news. 60 years behind bars, that's the sentence for an Indiana man accused of murdering his ex tonight. A sad end to the search for a missing teen. With an entire lifetime ahead of her, at the age of 19, local teen Amanda Bach was tragically taken from us as a result of teen dating violence. It's crazy to think that she's not here with us anymore and that she'll never be a college grad, an aunt, she'll never be a wife and mother all those things in life that we wish to experience. We just have our memory. Our community mourned this loss. Some lit candles, many shed tears, and we chose to learn. We learned that we are not alone in our loss. Many communities across the nation have lost their sons and daughters. Too many candles have been lit and too many tears have been shed. Lauren was missing on the evening of July 3rd, 2011. Her car was found. A, a friend of hers, uh, in walking a dog, noticed her car on the beach. Then uh, we became quite concerned that something was very wrong. Word came to the police that a body had been found across town in the marsh. Uh, we're told that it was likely that it was she. And, uh, made plans to identify her the next day, and we just huddled together and uh, shared the misery of that. That's what sort of catapulted me in to try to ponder the issues of where can it possibly come from and what can we possibly do to prevent it. So right here, right now, we choose to take action by creating a movement the Amanda Forum. Our goal is simple. We are boldly talking about teen dating violence. We are raising awareness of breakup violence. We are empowering youth to build healthy relationships. Grizzly and horrible and painful as these losses are, um, the positive side is that our country progresses in terms of identifying pain and injustice and taking steps to correct it that can give us hope. I don't know if people actually come into this work saying, I want to stop dating violence. I want to stop domestic violence. A lot of us have come into this work because there's a personal connection to it. I grew up in a home where there was domestic violence, and so growing up, I saw that. It always made me want to get involved and make sure that, you know, raise awareness for the issue and make sure that others didn't have to go through that or that they were able to recognize the signs of abuse, not end up in unhealthy or abusive situations. But again and again, if you look at the bigger patterns, boys and men have come to act out violently. And we need to ask why. Oftentimes we go, we fast forward right into, this is what abuse looks like. This is what you need to look out for. But a lot of that discussion has to happen simultaneously with, this is what a healthy relationship looks like. This is what you deserve. This is how you should communicate that this is what I expect and this is what I want. Join us in spreading the word. Real love doesn't hurt. I want to feel valued. I want a partner who has compassion. I want someone who will listen when I speak who is confident and strong. I deserve someone who will keep his word, someone who is reliable. I deserve someone who is genuine and truly cares about me. I want someone who really knows me, who makes me feel unforgettable.